to you all, people of God. The Gospel of today is quite short, interesting and meaningful. Hence, I would like us to read the passage first and reflect upon it. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, Luke chapter 9, verse 51 to 56. When the days drew near for Jesus to be received up, he set his face to go to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him, who went and entered a village of Samaritans to make ready for him. But the people would not receive him, because his face was set towards Jerusalem. And when his disciples James and John saw it, they said, Lord, do you want us to bid fire come down from heaven and consume them? But he turned and rebuked them, and they went on to another village. The word of the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, when I read this gospel passage, one line caught my attention and touched me deeply, and that is, but the people would not receive him. That is what I would like us to talk about today, rejection. Rejection is unpleasant, it is unbearable, it is painful and agitating. Rejection is often a hard blow to an individual's self-esteem and worth. And the pain can be particularly acute when the rejection is personal, such as in love relationships, friendships, or job applications. We all have been rejected before, and it is so unfortunate that the closest friends, family, or siblings are the ones who reject us. I would like to pose to you a question of reflection. How do you deal with rejection? Dealing with rejection involves acknowledging and allowing yourself to feel the emotions. My dear friends, it is okay to be weak. It is okay to cry. Rejection is a common part of life, but it doesn't define your worth. Not getting the job in that company does not mean you are worthless, useless, or underqualified. It simply, it simply means God has better plans for you tomorrow. Whatever rejection you are facing or have faced, try reframing the situation, understanding that it's about the specific circumstance, not your entire being. Seek support from friends, family, or any significant other whom you would like to talk to through your feelings. Focus on self-improvement, setting new goals, and redirecting your energy towards positive endeavors. Use rejection as a learning experience, recognizing that it can lead to growth and resilience. Let us pray for courage, strength, power, resilience towards rejection. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen.